My name is Tom and I love all types of cars, especially turbocharged ones. I also enjoy wrenching and racing, so let's see what we can get into today in the Turbo Garage. In today's video, we're talking about toolboxes. A solid, well-built toolbox is an excellent investment and will reward you with years of great benefits. In fact, a good toolbox can change your life. You'll get more done, you'll suffer less frustration hunting around for misplaced tools, and most importantly, you'll protect the big investment that you've made in your tool collection. As many of you already know, I grew up in a service station. I always knew the importance of a good toolbox, as I was surrounded by professional mechanics whose livelihood depended on their tools and their tool storage. My first real toolbox came as a gift from my dad back in 1999. It was a big upgrade over what I had been using, which was a combination of a rusty portable toolbox and a canvas army tool bag. Finally, I could have a dedicated drawer for my wrenches, screwdrivers, pliers, and socket sets. I didn't have many tools back then, but it sure was nice to be able to find them quickly and keep everything organized. Thirteen years later, I was still working out of this same toolbox, but had completely outgrown it. The drawers were overstuffed, and I could never find anything quickly. Some drawers had many different types of tools piled in together, which really got in the way of any job I was trying to do. It was also coming apart. All of that was terribly annoying, but the worst part was when the drawers would get stuck from having too much stuff in them. This happened far more times than I care to admit. I'm going to warn you, when you start shopping for toolboxes, your head will spin. The sheer volume of choices and options can be overwhelming and honestly kept me from choosing a new toolbox for many years. Instead, I held on to my old overstuffed box, only because it was familiar to me and easier than switching. I started my toolbox shopping online. Before the advent of the internet, you had far fewer options and had to venture out to local stores to choose a toolbox. These days, you can search and find the perfect toolbox without leaving your house. Having been around mechanics and seeing what they used back then, I started my search with the most popular tool truck brands. Those guys make awesome boxes, and I figured one would make a nice addition to my garage. Hmm, let's see here. I'll just check out uh, snap.com. Uh, Ooh, that looks nice. Let's just click on that. Wait a second. 10,000? What? After realizing that those boxes were <clears throat> out of my budget, I needed to revise my search a bit and consider more affordable options. After seeing some good looking boxes online, but being disappointed when trying them out in person at the local store, I was at a loss. Could I have a really nice toolbox without having to sell a major organ on Craigslist? Then it dawned on me. The same company that makes the lift that I love so dearly also makes excellent quality tool storage and loads of other professional grade shop equipment. Why didn't I think of that sooner? After looking through all the specs and pictures on Ranger's website and reading reviews from real customers on sites like the Garage Journal, I had found my toolbox. The Ranger 13 drawer super wide tool cabinet and to top it off, an 8 drawer super wide top tool chest. Oh yeah! When the delivery man showed up with this giant box of man toys, I was pumped. Wait, wait, no, not that box. The other one, to the left. Over there. Whoa, just look at the size of that thing. Even wrapped up in the plastic, it was love at first sight. Like I said, I was pumped and wasted no time tearing into it. Once I got the plastic wrap off, it was time to open each box. I started with the big bottom box, 
which weighs 285 pounds completely empty. The first thing that struck me was the beautiful bright powder coated finish and brushed aluminum drawer handles. It looks fantastic. Next was that there was almost no assembly required. The casters were already mounted and it was ready to roll. Next I opened up the top box, which also looked great. It was a heavy beast too, weighing in at 142 pounds. Immediately after opening it all, we hoisted the top box up and onto the bottom box. Oh man, that looks great! After basking in the glow of my new toolbox for a while, it was time to get it ready to work. First I bolted on the provided handles and then installed the rugged feeling rubber drawer liners that Ranger provides. My old box didn't come with drawer liners, which caused tools to slide all over the place every time you opened or closed a drawer. It's great to have good custom fit liners like these. Let's take a closer look at this setup. Standing at just a tick under 60 inches, this beast not only looks tough, but feels very strong too. It features 16 and 18 gauge steel for the cabinets and drawers, and rolled edges and continuous beam construction for strength. In the bottom box, we have a total of 13 full extension drawers. My favorite is this giant top drawer that is deep and over three feet wide. Opening and closing the drawers to me is a great test of the quality of a toolbox. So many I tried at the local stores felt cheap and flimsy. Not this one. Each drawer has heavy duty ball bearing slides for smooth operation while easily handling the weight of your tools. They can also be removed if you need to clean them. For security, Ranger offers their tamper proof lock latch system in combination with a tumbler lock that keeps the drawers and your tools safe and sound. The four heavy duty urethane casters make it easy to maneuver and roll around my garage too. Now it was time to unload the tools from my old overstuffed toolbox into the new one. This will be a work in progress as I plan to add some various tool holders in the drawers over time, but already it's a massive improvement. Before I only had five drawers that were all the same width. Now I have tons of options with 21 drawers and a big top storage area. I'm going to need more tools. Before I was always hunting for wrenches. Now my standard metric wrenches each have their own dedicated drawer. Oversized wrenches have their own drawer too. This goes for my other tools as well. This type of organization not only looks great, but it makes you a much more efficient worker. I've noticed a big difference as I spend far less time hunting for the right tool. Cleanup is also much faster and more satisfying. What a difference a good toolbox can make. I love it already. To complement our awesome new toolbox, I also picked up the handy Ranger adjustable work table. This will make a great companion when tackling all sorts of jobs. In fact, it's sort of like having an extra set of hands. It will really help me work faster and stay more organized too, as I'm really bad to leave tools laying around in the engine bay. I can't be the only one who's guilty of this. While the work table did need to be assembled, the instructions were very straightforward and it didn't take long at all. So here it is put together and ready to work. It's very flexible as the top can be rotated or moved up and down for different jobs. It also features these tool hooks to keep everything within reach. It's tough too, as it can handle up to 55 pounds. Although I just started using it, it has already become something that I rely upon. Whether working under the hood or if I'm under the lift and need things within reach, it's great to have. If you do lots of wrenching on cars, you definitely need one of these. And you know, my work table's been acting a little funny, but I ain't complaining.
But wait, it gets better. A few days later, I get a knock at the door. Hmm, what could this be? I didn't order anything. Ooh, some ranger swag. Nice. Hey, not bad. All right. Let me set anything else in here. Let's take a look. Ah, letter. Dear customer, we hope you're enjoying your new toolbox. In close, you'll find our newly updated toolbox badges. Feel free to replace your existing badges with the new... Toolbox badges. Of course. Um, let's just go ahead and put these where they belong. Now that is more like it. Thank you for watching. I hope this video helps you choose a toolbox of your own. If you ever have any questions about my setup, just drop me a line on my Facebook page and I'll be happy to help. So with that said, thanks again folks. We'll see you next time.